All right, welcome back. Take a full look at weather now. Weather Authority Chief Meteorologist Dan Sianca. I feel like we got we got drizzle yesterday. We got some drizzle last night in some areas, not everyone. We had some in Salinas. I noticed that there was some around the Monterey Peninsula as well. And uh, we're added up that total because we got to get to that May total. We showed you uh, a couple days ago that most areas get between a half an inch and an inch of rain during the month of May. So what about the month of April? Yesterday we did a recap of April temperatures. So let's do a recap of April precipitation here from various climate sites that have good data to share with you anyway. Uh, as you look at Monterey County, it was kind of dry. So that's Salinas, Monterey, King City. Uh, all locations there with climate sites had a precipitation that was below normal, even though it seemed like it rained several days in April. But we didn't quite make our April cutoffs. It was a little bit better in the north. Watsonville had 137% of normal with 2.22 inches at the water, Watsonville Waterworks during the month of April. So that's some good news. Gilroy in the Santa Clara Valley also did decent 120% of normal. And in the Santa Cruz Mountains, we got pretty close to normal rainfall, although we're running a deficit after having three dry months before that. So we definitely won't call it an April miracle. And as we look at our drought update for today, you can see that, well, most of the state's in pretty tough shape when it comes to the drought. We did have one positive change this week, and that is up in Siskiyou County. County, right up along the Oregon border. Just a small little sliver that saw a decrease in drought level. It didn't actually change the percentage numbers because we round off, but either way, some improvement, I guess. Here locally, we remain mostly in severe drought with our far eastern periphery there in extreme drought. What about looking forward? Will we see any rain? Well, it's raining up in Oregon right now, Washington State, as it's been most of the winter with a La Nina pattern. That's not uncommon to see the rain shift a little bit farther to the north, and that's what we saw most of this winter for us. But our weather pattern will become more active next week as we look back to the west. Another weather system sitting right here. That'll be heading toward us as we head through the weekend, and there are more to come behind that. In fact, some of them are going to pull some cold air in from the north and make things a little unsettled next week. It is going to be chilly next week. We'll probably have some wind and hopefully we'll have some rain showers and it's even possible we might see some thunderstorms and it's even possible we might see some mountain snow. Did I mention we are in May? Mountain snow here locally in May will not be impossible next week. But it's not going to happen today. Future cast showing increase in low clouds tonight. Uh, we will have some high clouds out there as well. The clouds uh, layers are a little bit higher than they were last night, so I'm not as worried about fog tonight uh, compared to last night. But we will have some low clouds out there nonetheless, I think, through the overnight hours. And then through the day tomorrow, we're going to stay partly cloudy on the coast and mostly sunny inland. And I think temperatures will be very comparable to what we had today. Uh, we may be a little bit cooler on the south side of the bay as there's a chance of a few low clouds out there. In fact, those clouds will thicken tomorrow night we might start pulling some more drizzle out of them but either way pretty comparable temperatures i'm expecting highs in the 70s in the santa cruz mountain valleys uh, 70 tomorrow downtown santa cruz mid 60s in capitola and aptos tomorrow and most of the east shore of the bay will be in the 60s as you head a little farther inland we'll warm up a bit uh, salinas and watsonville both around 70 mid 70s in hollister maybe squeaking into the upper 70s into the santa clara valley tomorrow monterey peninsula a little cool still in pacific grove and again a few low clouds possible around the peninsula tomorrow 66 though you're high in monterey and then farther south away from the coast and that marine influence will be a little bit warmer with 70s and in some cases still in the 80s. But tomorrow may be the last day we see 80s in the viewing area for the next week or more as temperatures are expected to get quite a bit cooler. So let's take you through it as we head through the weekend. Now, we're going to cool down quite a bit on Saturday, I think, to start off with on the coast by about five more degrees. Another cooler air mass rolls in. We'll probably see a little bit of drizzle overnight Friday into Saturday. So that's late tomorrow night into Saturday morning. That's why I have overnight drizzle, but kind of spreading those two days. Mother's Day still looking partly cloudy, but we could also still see a few sprinkles, a couple of drizzly sprinkles. And then we get into the more active weather pattern. Look how cold our high temperatures are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, mid 50s on the coast, partly cloudy skies, unsettled weather, can't rule out some showers. We could even see a rumble of thunder on Tuesday. There is potential for some mountain snow, believe it or not. Looking pretty wild next week. Lots to look out for. Inland areas also seeing those huge temperature chunks dumping away as we head through the weekend. Mother's Day will be cool. I think mostly dry outside of a couple coastal sprinkles, but there will be a chance of rain showers Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We're even watching another system that will come in on the heels of that at the end of next week. Stay tuned.